안녕하십니까? 2017년 7월 전국 학원연합 모의고사 영어 영역 듣기 평가 안내 방송입니다. 잠시 후 2017년 7월 전국 학원연합 모의고사 3교시 영어 영역 듣기 평가 방송을 시작하겠습니다. 수험생 여러분은 편안한 마음으로 방송에 귀를 기울여 주시고 감독 선생님께서는 스피커의 음량을 알맞게 조절해 주십시오. 수험생 여러분은 답안을 작성하기 전에 반드시 답안지 왼쪽 해당란에 성명, 수험번호 등을 정확하게 기입하고 표기하였는지 확인하시기 바랍니다. 듣기 평가 문제는 1번부터 17번까지입니다. 방송을 잘 듣고 문제지에 있는 다섯 개의 답지 중에서 맞는 답 하나만 골라 답안지에 해당 란에 바르게 표기하십시오. 듣기 평가는 타정 없이 시작됩니다. 이제 문제지 표지를 넘기시기 바랍니다. 그러면 지금부터 3교시 영어 영역 듣기 평가를 시작하겠습니다. 1번부터 17번까지는 듣고 답하는 문제입니다. 1번부터 15번까지는 한 번만 들려주고 16번부터 17번까지는 두번 들려줍니다. 방송을 잘 듣고 답을 하시기 바랍니다. 1번 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Honey, what are you doing with those clothes? I'm picking out some old blouses and skirts I don't wear anymore. Can you tell me what you are going to do with them? 2번. 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Look at that, Peter. There's a huge hole in the road. Oh, no. It can cause an accident at some time or other. I think we have to report it to the police. 3번. 다음을 듣고 남자가 하는 말의 목적으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Good morning, employees. I sincerely thank all of you for participating in this meeting in spite of such short notice. As you know, our company has been leading the market for light bulbs for the last 15 years, thanks to your efforts and commitments. However, due to the recent economic recession worldwide, Our company is suffering from serious financial problems these days. That's why the board has decided to lay off some of our employees. From next week to the end of this month, we invite anyone to apply for voluntary resignation. The result will be announced in the first week of next month, and those who submit their letter of resignation will be given compensation equal to their annual salary. It is with great regret that I make this announcement, but I know you will understand the company's present situation. 4번. 대화를 듣고 여자의 의견으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. What are you doing on the computer, Jake? I'm working on my social studies paper. Wow, you're using lots of pictures and photos in your paper. Some of them look familiar to me. I think they will help the reader to visualize the abstract concepts in my paper. You're right, but you should be careful using pictures and photos from the Internet. What do you mean by that? Is there anything wrong with them? Well, I don't see the sources listed in your paper. Is that a problem? 
I just got them from the internet. That may cause a big problem. You should always reveal the source when you use any material from the internet. Even when I'm downloading only a few image files? Yes. Most images on the internet have their own intellectual property rights. Oh, I didn't realize that. Oh, Ben. 대화를 듣고 두 사람의 관계를 가장 잘 나타낸 것을 고르시오. Hello, Janice. How's the dizziness? I still feel dizzy, and I'm so tired. Do you eat breakfast regularly? No, I don't have any appetite in the morning. I told you not to skip breakfast. Then what did you have for lunch today? I had a couple of cookies and a cup of coffee in the cafeteria. Oh, you don't listen to a word I say. You have to eat more. But I'm afraid I may gain weight. Can you prescribe something for the dizziness, please? Listen carefully. What is most important for you is to eat enough food regularly and work out on a regular basis. Otherwise, your dizziness won't go away. I'll try, but it's very hard for me to take time out for exercise. You have to do that. For now, you need a blood test. The nurse will explain what you have to do. Okay, thank you. 6번. 대화를 듣고 그림에서 대화의 내용과 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. What are you looking at, Paul? This is a picture taken in my college days. Wow, I didn't know you had played in a rock band. Is that you playing the electric guitar on the left? Yeah, and next to me is my best friend, Steve. You mean the guy with long hair who is adjusting the amplifier? Right. He was the sound supervisor of our band. Oh, your band had a female member, too. Yes. The drummer in the center is Jenny, the only female member of our band. She was very good at playing the drums. Who's this guy playing the keyboard? He is wearing sunglasses. He's David. He was in charge of the electronic keyboard. And the guy playing the electric bass next to David is Peter. Peter? You mean the one wearing a checkered shirt? Yes. He always wore a checkered shirt in those days. Oh, you must have had a wonderful time. 7번. 대화를 듣고 여자가 남자를 위해 할 일로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. New Hampshire Telecommunications, how can I help you? Is that you, Kate? This is Raymond. Oh, Raymond, how are you there? We're all worried about you. What's going on with the hurricane? Well, things don't seem to be getting any better. The weather forecast says the hurricane will stay around here for another couple of days. Do you know when your plane will be able to take off? I guess I'll have to stay at the hotel until next Monday. That's why I called you. I've just sent you my presentation file for the meeting by email. Oh, you mean I have to attend the meeting for you next Monday? No, you don't have to. Gary will do the presentation. I'd like you to just check the sales data in the file before the presentation. All right, I'll do that. The data is based on the sales for the last three months, right? That's right. Thanks a lot, Kate.
My pleasure. Pay one. 대화를 듣고 남자가 산책할 수 없는 이유를 고르시오. Hey, Henry. Have you done the math assignment? Yes. I had to sit up late last night to finish it. How about you? I've finished it too. Why don't we go for a walk in the park after lunch today? Well, I'd love to, but I can't. Is it because you haven't recovered from your ankle injury yet? No. Actually, the problem is that I have a runny nose, and I've been coughing a lot these days. Oh, you have a cold, right? No, I always have these symptoms at this time of the year. I see. You're sensitive to fine dust in the air, aren't you? No, my respiratory organs are allergic to some kinds of pollen, so I can't go out much. Oh, that's too bad. Have you ever been to a doctor for it? Yes, I have. They say there's no way but to avoid being outdoors. Oh, wow. That's harsh. Good one. 대화를 듣고 여자가 지불할 금액을 고르시오. Excuse me. Are these products on sale now? Yes. Those are final sale items for the year. How much is this plastic container with the red tag? The original price was $10, but those with a red tag are 30% off. Good. I'll take two containers with a red tag. And what does this yellow tag mean? For the items with a yellow tag, you get one more free if you buy one. I see. Then I can buy these two dish towels for the price of one, right? Yes. They were $2 each, but now you can get two towels for just $2. Great. I'll take two. Thank you. Then you only have to pay for two plastic containers and one dish towel. Wait. I want two more dish towels, please. Oh, I see. Then you can get four of them for the price of two. All right. I'll pay in cash. Shippon. 대화를 듣고 아파트에 관해 언급되지 않은 것을 고르시오. Hello, Linda Gibson speaking. Hello, this is Steve from Giant Real Estate. Linda, I've found a perfect apartment for your family. Hi, Steve. That's good to hear. Can you tell me more about it? Sure. The apartment is located on Maple Street and has three large bedrooms. What's the neighborhood like? Is it quiet and safe? Yes. It's located in a very quiet place. You don't have to worry about the noise and safety. Sounds good. Is there an elementary school near the apartment? You know I have two little kids. Yes, there is one within a five-minute walk. Excellent. How about public transportation? A bus stop and a subway station are right near the apartment. It's very convenient to use public transportation. All right. And I'd like to know how much the monthly rent is. It's $500 per month. That's very reasonable, isn't it? Yes, I think it is. 11번 
베이커스 타운 비지터스 센터에 관한 다음 내용을 듣고 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Welcome to Baker's Town Visitors Center. Let me tell you briefly about what's available here. In the lobby, on the first floor, we have miniature models of Baker's Town and its neighborhood area to give you a better view of Baker's Town. If you'd like to know the history about Baker's Town, you can watch the documentary films in the media room on the second floor. Travel guides and travel brochures are prepared at the information desk. You can also get access to the internet, and there are computers for free use in the lobby on the second floor. We're open from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. during the weekdays and from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Saturdays and Sundays. We hope you have a nice day in Bakerstown. Thank you. Hey, Sonia, didn't you buy a laundry dryer? Yes, I bought one last year, and I'm quite happy with it. Are you thinking of buying one for yourself? Yes, there are five models at this online store, and I'd like to order one among these. Which one do you think would be the best for me? Well, if you want to save energy, gas-powered ones are usually better. But the gas supply of my apartment is too complicated to install a gas-powered one. Then you need to get an electric-powered laundry dryer. And you need to consider the capacity of the dryer. Which one would you recommend? You live alone, so you won't need one with a capacity larger than 10 kilograms. Okay, then I'll order between these two. Should I buy the cheaper one? As for me, I'd prefer one with a longer warranty period. Good thinking. I'll order that one, even though it's a bit expensive. 13번. 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Angela, come here and look at this ad in the school newsletter. Oh, the school is having a book review contest for middle school students. I think our son Ted should enter it. Absolutely. He has a talent for writing, and he enjoys it. We should tell him about it. Yes. I'm sure he'll be excited to take part in the contest. For the contest, he has to read a book from this list and write a book review on it. So, first he needs to choose which book he'd like to read, and we need to buy it for him. Okay. Which book do you think he'll choose? Probably one of the non-fiction ones. Like this one about the kings of ancient Egypt. As soon as Ted comes back home, we'll let him know about the contest. 14번. 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Good afternoon. What can I do for you? I'm afraid I lost the book I checked out the other day. What should I do? In that case, you have to buy the same book and give it back to us. I tried to do that, but the book is out of print and not sold at any bookstore any longer. 
Then you have to pay twice the price of the book. I see. I have no choice. Could you let me know how much I have to pay? Sure. I'll check that now. Your library card, please. Here it is. You checked out the history of American politics, right? Yes, I did. Ah, you are lucky. The book has already been returned. Oh, really? Could you tell me how that happened? Paula and Ken are a couple, and they're traveling together. They're on a three-day and two-night tour, and they want to try one day of horseback riding and one day of rafting. They are going to make a reservation for tomorrow's activity. Ken is really looking forward to horseback riding, so he suggests to Paula that they do that first. However, Paula thinks differently. She checks the weather forecast and finds that light rain is expected tomorrow. Luckily, it is expected to be fine the day after tomorrow. Paula doesn't think it's a good idea to go horseback riding on a rainy day. She thinks a little rain won't matter for doing rafting because they'll get wet anyway. She wants to suggest they do rafting for tomorrow. In this situation, what would Paula most likely say to Ken? 16번부터 17번까지는 두번 들려줍니다. 16번과 17번, 다음을 듣고 물음에 답하시오. Hello, everyone. Last time, we talked about our efforts to make our planet greener by using a variety of renewable energies powered by sun, water, and wind. Today, I'd like to talk about an important aspect of our concern about the environment. Recently, there are a lot of people suffering from noise pollution. What comes to your mind first when you think of preserving the environment? Actually, our focus has so far been centered largely on keeping the air and water clean. Many policies and regulations were made to prevent the air and water from being polluted. However, a really important aspect has drawn little attention. It's noise control. Our society is unaware of the severity of noise pollution. In fact, without relying on any scientific survey, we feel that noise has already reached alarming levels in the city area. Recent research shows that few places in the city are free from distracting noise. Some medical clinics and schools, not to mention libraries and courthouses, may have to be moved to quieter locations to avoid noise pollution. Under these circumstances, unless strict measures are taken, the situation is sure to go from bad to worse. Hello, everyone. Last time, we talked about our efforts to make our planet greener by using a variety of renewable energies powered by sun, water, and wind. Today, I'd like to talk about an important aspect of our concern about the environment. Recently, there are a lot of people suffering from noise pollution. What comes to your mind first when you think of preserving the environment. Actually, our focus has so far 
been centered largely on keeping the air and water clean. Many policies and regulations were made to prevent the air and water from being polluted. However, a really important aspect has drawn little attention. It's noise control. Our society is unaware of the severity of noise pollution. In fact, without relying on any scientific survey, we feel that noise has already reached alarming levels in the city area. Recent research shows that few places in the city are free from distracting noise. Some medical clinics and schools, not to mention libraries and courthouses, may have to be moved to quieter locations to avoid noise pollution. Under these circumstances, unless strict measures are taken, the situation is sure to go from bad to worse. 16번. 남자가 하는 말의 주제로 가장 적절한 것은? Shiptilbon Ongupten Jangsoga Aningosen Ije Tiki Munjega Kinesmira Shiphaibon Butanun Munjeji Tishi Tara Tabul Hashki Baramira